Welcome back. So we did have partly mostly cloudy skies through the entire day with some showers moving through as we went through the late afternoon and into the early evening. Here's a look at our tower cam time lapse, the, uh, the Scotts Bluff Regional West weather camera. And as you can see, the clouds and the showers as the sun is setting. And right now, we're really starting to clear out as a cooler air mass works its way in. High temperatures today at 77 in Scotts Bluff and Gordon and low to mid 70s at Kimball, Torrington, Alliance, Sydney, and uh, out toward the uh, the Shadron area at 77, your high. So we did have enough of a, a warm surge of air with that southerly wind to really warm us up. But temperatures are on their way down. Currently into the mid 40s at Hemingford, Shadron, Scotts Bluff, and Kimball. Upper 40s out toward Torrington and low to mid 50s at Bridgeport, Sydney, and Oshkosh. But the winds uh, right now north northwest around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Breezies conditions into our eastern counties. And here's a look at the strongest wind gusts out there. So we're seeing wind gusts on this map in some places between 25 and 35 miles per hour. But with that west-northwesterly flow, cooler air and drier air is definitely filtering in. Any of the, the showers and thunderstorms we had earlier today did strengthen, and they're now hitting Valentine with uh, 30 to 50 mile per hour winds. But for us, we're clearing out with that nice westerly wind along the I-80 corridor uh, and partly cloudy skies from Scotts Bluff and points off to the north, even though some of us just are a little breezy as of now. High pressure to our south was in charge earlier today. It gave us that strong southerly wind, but it is cold for has made its way through. Most of the moisture at this low, as is typical, is working its way off to our north, but we have the fronts making their way through, and they are flipping the wind direction around from a southerly flow to more of a northerly wind, and that will get rid of this warm, this warm air, and behind the front, cooler air will work its way in over the next few days, as soon as we get uh, closer to the center of this cool high pressure system, temperatures are going to be on their way down. And we do have some remnant moisture on the cool side of the system. So let's track it through time. Mainly dry for the overnight, most of us getting mostly clear. High, uh, low temperatures in the upper 30s, more clouds, and a chance of showers into our southern counties tomorrow with highs into the mid to upper 50s. And then as we go uh, through the overnight into Thursday, could clear again with that westerly wind. Lows near 30. But for the daylight hours on Thursday, more clouds and some scattered showers once again, cooler with highs only into the upper 40s. So here's what it looks like on the wide maps. This uh, cold front continues to make its way through. The uh, front will move off to our east into the northern plains and Midwest, gives severe weather during the daylight heating for them. But for us, still some chances for some rain and even some snow showers in the higher elevations when it does get cool enough. Uh, this is the cool sector of this system. We'll stop this around Friday at 5 a.m. Strong northwesterly wind. So all the way to, until the start of the weekend, this high is still to our west. But as it moves off to the east, we get more into another warm sector and start to warm up again and staying mainly dry. Here's a look at what to expect over the next few days. So the warm air is gone. The sunshine also on the way out. We are going to have a slight chance of some showers over the next couple of days. And that cooler air sticks around all the way to the start of the weekend with highs only to the upper 50s tomorrow, lower 50s for Thursday. Windy conditions the next couple of days, a strong northerly wind with a 20 to 30 percent chance of showers, otherwise partly to mostly cloudy. And 48, our coolest day on Friday, breezy conditions still, but partly cloudy through the weekend, 53 on Saturday. 63 on Sunday, then Monday and Tuesday, more chances for some showers and temperatures falling from the upper 60s into the upper 50s. Angel? Thanks.